We're about to take an in-depth crash course into the world of animation, how to put together several objects together in a scene and talk about the hierarchy of animation so you can pull off you know, whatever animation you're looking to do. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Doesn't matter if you're just starting off in After Effects or you have experience with animation. This is gonna teach you everything you need to know for putting together really awesome animations here inside of After Effects. So if you wanna follow along this video, you can download our project files, of course. That link will be below and let's jump in. All right, so before we can jump in here and animate our objects here in After Effects, we gotta talk about how to get, you know, illustrations like this. So if you're not an illustrator, what I suggest doing is go to a website uh, called freepix.com and you can type in what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a character, an animal, or whatever specific object you're looking for, you can type this in here and you can download uh, free vectors. Uh, so when you have some vectors that you like to use, you can download them. Uh, and then we're gonna wanna open them up in Adobe Illustrator. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I downloaded two free files from freepix.com. And what I wanna do is prepare these for After Effects. So obviously I don't want all these animals. I don't want all these boats. I just want one boat and one animal. So what I'm gonna do is after I've opened up my project file from my download, I'll go to file new and I'll create a 1920 by 1080 uh, document and click create. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to select what I wanna use here. You might have to search through the objects here and select what you need, but I'm gonna copy my uh, friend here. We're calling him Jeff and I'm gonna paste them right here. And as you can see, I have some objects here that I don't want. What I can do is control click that object right there and delete it. Obviously, I just wanna see Jeff by himself. Now I wanna put Jeff on a boat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to this download that I have and I'm going to just hold down control on my keyboard, click and drag, and you see I can select that object all by itself. I'll copy it, go over to our new document and I'll paste it in here. I can hold down control and shift on my keyboard to scale up our boat here and you know put it here. What I'm gonna do is come here and click on create new layer. And I can say, for example, take our boat layer and put that in its own layer there. So these will be separated inside of After Effects. I've done this before on our channel. If you wanna more tips on this workflow, you can check our description for more videos. But what I'm gonna do is take our Jeff, our giraffe here and just kind of place him where I want him in the boat. And I can easily rename my layers over here so I have Boat and Jeff. So when we're happy with this setup and their own individual layers, we can save this as an Illustrator file right here and click on Save. So now that I have my Illustrator file saved, I can bring it over to the project panel inside of After Effects. I can set the import kind to Composition and click OK. And then I can go into that scene. You'll see that we have two Illustrator files right here. And now these will be independent objects uh, but before we go ahead and animate things, I want to build out the rest of the scene uh, to show you that you don't have to combine everything inside of Illustrator. So for example, I also downloaded some of these elements off of FreePix as well. And I can come here and bring in, say, an island here in the background. I can scale this up. And when you scale an object, obviously it becomes pixelated. But what we can do is click on this continuously rasterize icon, and that will allow it to be scaled up even further. So I can come here and kind of start placing around uh, some of the other objects in this scene. So one thing you're probably gonna have to do with these type of projects is really build out an entire composition. So I'm gonna talk about some of those principles in this as well before we get into animation. So for a quick thing, we can create our background. So this should be like the sky or the main sort of look. So we'll go to layer new solid uh, and I'll select this blue color here. So this will be our sky. So obviously now we have to create some sort of you know, foreground, which could be the land, or in this case, it's gonna be the ocean. I'm just gonna grab the rectangle tool here, for example, and I'm just gonna draw out our ocean here. I'll go ahead and select a darker blue color. And I will also come here to stroke and set the solid color, and we can have a white stroke here uh, just to show, you know, the waves, for example. So our composition is starting to come together. We have all these elements in here, and now we're ready for animation. And before we move on to our next technique, if you're looking to create awesome motion graphics that stand out within a click of a button, check out our 300 plus editors motion pack for After Effects and also Premiere Pro. With our easy to use Atomex extension, all you have to do is find a graphic that you like and hit apply. Once it's on the timeline, you can easily customize colors and other parameters to fit your needs. You can check out the 300 plus editors motion pack and all the other packs we have off our website on sunduckfilm.com. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work, you can check out those links in the description below. So when you're creating a scene like this that has several different elements that need to be animated, what do you animate first? 
so how I like to think about this is to think of it as a more of a macro standpoint and work your way in. So an independent force may be the environment here that we have the waves animating and the waves will then affect the motion of the boat, which then will affect the motion of our giraffe or Jeff here. Uh, and then we can talk about you know, how we're sailing through the ocean. So I kind of like to animate in a hierarchy, if that makes sense. So first things first, we got to animate in some waves here. So what I'm going to do is actually use an effect real quick. I'll go to effect, distort, and we're going to add a uh, wave warp. You know, come here, set our wave height to like 20. Wave height can go up to 200. Direction will go to negative 90 degrees. That'll just change the direction of the animation. And we'll come here to wave speed, set this up to two. And one thing you'll notice, we're getting some squiggly lines down here. So what I'm going to do is just draw another rectangle uh, to cover that up. And I'll put that right there. So now we have some waves in here that are animating. Now we can move on to animating the boat. So the animation is going to be dependent. And I don't want to come here and just animate the boat because also our object inside the boat, Jeff, is going to be animating with the boat. So I don't want to animate the boat independently and then animate Jeff independently. I want to kind of animate them together. So what I'm going to do is go to layer, new, null object. And I'm going to grab our boat layer and our giraffe here and parent it to the null. And I'm going to grab my pan behind tool here at the top. And it's going to allow me to select this anchor point And I can just kind of bring this to the back here of the boat. So now, if I come here to begin my timeline, hit R on my keyboard for rotation. As I increase the rotation, you know, both of these objects animate together, which is very important for this type of thing. So I can set this to negative eight, add a keyframe for rotation, move forward maybe a half a second, and set this back down to zero. And I can select both these keyframes, hit F9 on my keyboard uh, to make them easy, easy keyframes. And then I can all click the stopwatch and I can type in loop out with a capital O, open, close parenthesis, and then do a quotations ping pong, just like this. So, you're in it, so your expression could look like this if you're copying me. And now we're gonna have this animation that goes on you know, forever like that. So now we can come here and animate our character uh, independent of the boat. So to animate our character, what we can do is double click on our character layer and we'll grab the puppet pin tool. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna lock uh, Mr. Jeff here uh, into place. And I'll add one point here at the top of his head. And as before, we'll just move forward by, I don't know, half a second, right? And we'll just move his head forward. Kind of like that, don't distort him too much, but to a point where it looks natural enough. And then we can just hit U on our keyboard, bring up the keyframes and we'll see that we have our double keyframe there. We'll all click the stopwatch and we'll do the same exact thing, loop out uh, with the ping pong in it as well. So it should look like that. You can make them easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now we have a much more believable scene here. We have this hierarchy of animation. The waves affect the boat and the boat affects uh, our character. So the last animation I want to talk about here in the hierarchy is camera movement uh, and some little extra independent animation as well. So as we go through the ocean here, we're boating through some islands. So to set this up, uh, we have our objects here in the background. What I'm going to do is create another null object and I call it a scene camera, that's fine. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna take those objects that need to be moving in the background. So we have this plane, the island, the sun, and I'm gonna grab this, pick with this to that new null object that we created. And I can hit P on my keyboard for position, and I can kind of see, move this over. Look at that. I can add a keyframe for position, go forward in time, say our comp is gonna be five seconds long. I can now, animate this to the other side, for example. So now it's gonna look like, you know, we are boating, you know, through this scene. Now, we might wanna do some independent animation here. So for example, I might hit P on my keyboard for position for this plane layer. I might move it over to the right. And I'll add a keyframe for this and I'll move forward and I'll just kinda animate this while it's kinda off the screen. So it'll look like that plane is actually flying there. So that's how you can put together a scene you know, like this with a hierarchy of animations. And if you're new to After Effects, you can download several of our free template packs. Those links will be below as well. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials and animation tutorials like this. You can hit us up on our Instagram. We have After Effects content on there as well. And always be creating.